we were we were uh, last year in Kenya uh, to a uh, rescue place where they took care of uh, I don't know how many baby elephants that was there, but uh, one one girl was like she was not bigger than this <laughs> three months. Mm. And uh, they are, I mean, uh, it's not always they survive because they're traumatized mm. and they've seen their mothers have been killed. Mm. And, um, but it's hard. Yeah. We were working for three days with like 20 elephant babies. Mm. And they are, they, and, I mean, they need to be close and they want to touch you all the time. And they are, I mean, they're so cute. <laughs> they need uh, I mean, someone to sleep together with the elephant yeah. babies. Yeah. These, nice. the, all yeah. these elephant babies had a different like caretaker. Uh, caretaker. Yes. Mm. And it was so. It, I just. I almost started crying when yeah. I watched it because. You do. Because when I heard these people talking mm. about these these elephant babies had their mother killed, yeah. and it's important that you don't support like poach and poaching by buying ivory. Ivory. And exactly. It's, exactly. Yeah. Just, it kind of made Corbin, me start crying, yeah. and I'm like. But you. I mean, it's also very sad that. I think that many poachers and stuff. Maybe they don't like understand that these animals have feelings. No. Yeah. They they, really they, do. they can notice if someone in the herd is gone. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. They can feel pain. They have a feeling. lot of feelings. Yeah. Mm. Mm. yeah. Maybe people don't just understand that. No. They see them as objects. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, you're right. And yeah. you and you will probably not see them as anything else um, unless you stop thinking. Yeah. You get a little bit closer and yeah. understand. Stop thinking about money. Mm -hmm. Stop thinking about money. Yeah. yeah. But that's that's why also it's very important because last year there was a, a review where they found out that about 20% of all Swedish tourists, when they're out traveling, could imagine buying like a necklace or something with the ivory or something on. Oh, mm -hmm. so, I mean, and and that's 20% of all the people out traveling. And uh, it was even more disgusting. Ten ten percent of uh, of uh, all Swedish tourists could imagine drinking tiger wine. <laughs> tiger wine yeah. is uh, when you, they, you basically kill the tiger and you make <laughs> wine out of the out of the bones. Not, yeah. And the what? Maybe, yeah. Wait, I've never even heard of no. tiger wine. It's oh, so sorry. disgusting. Yeah, it is. Yeah. It is. And like, I mean, how do you three... even find out that you can make tiger wine? It's like exactly. And you know, so do weird. you know how many tigers there are in the wild? Not many. No. <laughs> That's the right question. <laughs> there you go. There you go. There's like 3,000 tigers in the wild. I mean, that's not good. And nowadays you can count different species. Yeah. But another thing when you go to Thailand next time, I mean, before you're riding an elephant, yeah. you have to understand that it takes approximately five elephant babies before you can get one that you can ride on. So they basically kill five elephants before they can get one. And um, that's because they, <clears throat> they get one elephant from an elephant <clears throat> herd and from a family and they, they had to like uh, Take beat, them, them, yeah, yeah. beat yeah. them for days. So they and die or they them, survive yeah. and if they survive they are they're like the begging elephants you see on the street. Like. Mm -hmm. So it's, it's sad. So we raised a lot of money for that as well last year. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. For people who go undercover to look for these people who are actually kidnapping these elephant babies mm -hmm. to the tourist industry. Mm -hmm. So um, that's also something you can tell your friends. Mm -hmm. Don't go to Thailand and ride elephants. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of campaigns that you can come up with would be mm -hmm. very disgusting just because yeah. you want to turn people <clears throat> off on the idea of wearing something because i just had a, this weird thought in my head like you know the latest fashion and somebody's walking down with like an actual human skin like hanging yeah, over yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? it's just like, oh it's like very silence of the lambs <laughs> you know and it's just like oh gosh what are they <laughs> thinking because that's sort of a shocking thing it's like yeah, yeah this is exactly what you're doing yeah. and, and we then need to changing. do something otherwise we will lose yeah. this paradise we i mean there we are stupid if we think we can save it if nobody cares yeah yeah but because there are many smaller organizations that have very good <laughs> campaigns like Hands Up for Elephants in Kenya, it's very good. Yeah. Um, and there's another organization called Wild Aid. They they have really, really good campaigns, especially in China. So they, they've done a lot of good, especially for the shark finning. Mm -hmm. But we are trying to do a lot of things. I mean, uh, like uh, last year we did uh, uh, a rhino game. So you can basically go, go in on uh, I, uh, iTunes. iTunes. And you can buy, a, a, it's called Save a Rhino, and you can play a rhino game. 
and all yeah, the all yeah. the as an app, yeah, and uh, all the it's a it's an awareness app where you are basically a rhino that are poached, yeah, and you are running away from poachers, and uh, you get a lot of information about poaching, and oh. and yeah. all the all the money goes to the foundation if you buy extras, you know, mm. and uh, in the end of the of the rhino game. If you do all the track, you you will win a special mix, a rhino mix by Avicii. Ooh. So Avicii made a, a rhino mix. Well, that's that's just it. It's like that's a creative idea. What you guys talking about the uh, the app of the <laughs> game is also a very creative idea. And what we at Young Voices thrive on is trying to find creative solutions. Mm. So I'd like to thank everybody here today because this has been wonderful uh, just to be able to throw some ideas and just kind of pick your brains a little bit yeah. and uh, for you guys to openly do that as well to <laughs> us to see if we got any, yeah. any ideas because I, I, I think that creativity and, and doing things through arts and simply just going out there and doing is the only way. We're gonna make a change out there. Yeah, we need to work together. So if uh, I hope that anyone at home watching this feels that they want to help out, there's ways that you can do that. Just Google it. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we can leave some links in the comments below exactly. if you guys want to, you know, check out some of the the sites that we were talking about earlier. And uh, yeah, I just like to say a big applause for us for being so awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. So thank you, and I hope you guys have a wonderful night. And uh, yeah, let's just let's just have a big hug section. Let's get it out. Uh, <laughs> take some more fika on the way out. Uh, come on. All right.